Yo, what is happening, little lizards? It's your boy Lemon After Patrick back at it again, and welcome back to Subnautica. Okay, I'm gonna have to be a little quiet in this particular episode, and let me explain why. It's one o'clock over here where I live, and it is very early for me to be screaming at a freaking horror game. Anyway, I have found out I have built my base right at the freaking peak of the Ghost Leviathan. If I go out here, he should be out here somewhere. Welcome aboard, Captain. Shut up. He's out here somewhere. There's also a warper nearby. I need to be careful. Although, I don't know where the Ghost of Ithin fully is right now. Uh, that's none of my concern because I actually have stuff that I need to do and I won't be staying around for the base anyway. Um, number one on this list will be to get my propulsion cannon so we can move the boxes at the Aurora. Because that's where we're going next. Did I just see this fool right there? God, I'm so on edge. Um, I can't be screaming at this horror game though, because otherwise I'm gonna have to get off and not in this hell episode will be cancelled. So I need to get a wiring kit bat and a battery and titanium. I think I have everything I need for that, but just to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and check some of the stuff here in the lockers, um, just to be sure and check and see if I need anything. Um, I'm also gonna go ahead and fill up on some food while I'm right here. Um, I'm not gonna be taking the sea lemon with me because one, I just don't need it, and two, there's no reason to bring it. But yeah, this is where I got attacked by the Ghost of Iathan, remember? Uh, apparently they can attack bases now, so I gotta be careful on that behalf as well. But I'm not tripping about it. Also, this works now. It doesn't give me water, but it gives me food, which is nice. Alright, so I think it might be on the Cyclops, if anything. So we're gonna go ahead and check on that. Oh god. You just get me in. Okay, so we got this stuff. Um, on the way back to the base, I'm gonna probably stop off and get some more titanium. Uh, oh yeah, here's the other battery. Is this a dead battery as well? It's a 99%. That'll work, actually. Uh, what I could do is I could change this out. And then go... Hold on. I just need to make sure Ghost Boy isn't around. Yeah. Okay, so what I can do is I can use that like semi-dead battery to go, or to make what I need, and we can go from there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make this propulsion cannon up and get nice. Because we need this in order to get into the Aurora. Um, so yeah. Kind of dumb that I'm not bringing the sea lemon, but at the same time it's actually not a bad idea. So I'm going to go ahead and save while we're here. Uh, we are going into Reaper territory, so we got to be careful. Uh, how much power yet? Seventy-seven. Eh. Engine powering up. All right. I'm gonna take my leave. I'm gonna head down back to the surface, and we're gonna go on an adventure. Right, I'm sorry, guys, if I'm not gonna be commentating a little bit right now. It's just very like late. And I don't want to wake my parents up. Um, but yeah, so the Aurora, the Aurora has a lot of stuff that I'm going to need. What the hell? Just hit something. Okay, so anyway, as I'm saying, the Aurora is going to have a lot of the stuff that I'm going to need in order to progress in Subnautica. I mean, the, the number one thing being is going to be the prawn suit. Hello. Okay, so, I'm not too worried about Reapers. Reapers, I mean, yeah, they hurt your Cyclops, but it's not that bad. Because once I get past the Reaper Leviathan, so once I get into the Aurora and get out and head back this way, it's not, it's not even bad. The only thing is, is I don't want to go to where, I know where they're at. Like, I don't want to go to that specific position and just get ambushed because I'm not trying to take damage either like yeah this thing is a tank it can tank it but reapers are reapers they can still destroy this thing just as much as a guy Levi any leviathan can I think they're just the less qualified the least qualified to do it so definitely not to underestimate any of them but this is definitely going to be a very interesting episode especially because I don't want to be screaming if I scream, just notice that uh, this video will probably all be for nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and save one more time while I'm right. 
now that I'm over here because if like I'm not gonna save until I get on the Aurora itself. So if I do lose my Cyclops any from here and there, I'm not gonna rebuild it. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay, but I do know where the Reapers actually. Okay, that that's just the game. I do know where they're at. There's two at the bottom right here. I know there's one kind of like in between. And then there's three in the front. They kind of like mix and match around the front, you know what I mean? Oh, shit. So I'm going to take a less dangerous approach to this. And I'm going to go kind of around. Like... I'm gonna go kind of around the whole Reaper scenario. I'm at least gonna try to do it. Like, I'm gonna try to go towards my base and go from there. Can I stop hitting shit, please? It's the only thing that sucks about this. Why, wait, why am I, the hell am I going this way? And although I'm not really worried about them, I'm more worried about the fact that when I get out, they're gonna attack me. Also, I wanna be careful that I don't go into the mountains on accident. Because that's kind of where I'm going right now. It's bad enough I already had to deal with Reapers over this way. But I don't want to have to deal with more than what I can beg and chew for, right? Right. So the mountain's right there. Okay. How much power are we at? We're at 72. Okay, that's good. Okay, so there's my... Once I get past my mobile vehicle bay, I'm going to turn it on. Because I'm trying... Like I said, I'm not trying to take damage. But if you turn on silent running, they can't hear your sonar. Right now, I'm just wasting excess power. Alright. Now we do it. Ready for silent running. Hey, it's gonna be nighttime, huh? Alright, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick before I go into this damn thing. Alright. But this is why I said I don't need to bring the sea moths, is because I have this to deal with the and tank. The only thing is, is if it if it gets destroyed, I don't have the materials to get it back. I just need to make sure I watch my radar. And it has to be freaking nighttime, doesn't it? It just has to be nighttime. When I'm trying to do this. Like, nah, dude, it can't, it can't be day. Nah, it has to be night. God, I don't like this. Never have, never liked this journey. Yeah, music, yeah, you just get ominous. I appreciate it. Imagine that life form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Alright. We've made a landing. Now, this is where things are going to get interesting from here. Right. How, how am I doing with this? Okay, that's good. What about you? You're 100. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and fill up on food then real quick while I'm right here. Hey, you. Piss off. All right. I hate this place. Oh, God, these things are so fucking. Mm, I don't like them. Med kit, I'll take it. Oh yeah, baby, it's been a while. You wanna go? Out? All right, all right. Actually, we don't need to waste all this. Okay. Propulsion cannon. Okay. Oh, it were engineering drone. Integrating new PD. Exiting sleep mode. Loading voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology Officer you identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley, install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone, I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Senses recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> Drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Albert, I know it's not your fault, 
but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion can retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Crap, I forgot. I need to get uh, another PU so, that has these codes. So forgot about that. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Black box? God, it's been a while since I've done this. Altera launches the Aurora. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. Phase gate announced for the... I don't know how to say that. Why well, can't Aurora, read? It, arm? Altera launches the Aurora. The furthest reaches of inhabited space are due to expand as the... If, yeah, as the Altera Corp launches a newly constructed capital ship carrying a phase gate bound for the Andromeda Galaxy. We'll just say that. The, I don't like that shaky shake. The Aurora will travel from a space dock on the edge of Altera space, making hundreds of con consecutive phase gate jumps through nine different transgov authorities, and arrive on the far side of the, the Iridene arm in three months' time. From the command crew, will pilot the ship beyond the final phase gate, arriving in the next solar ship system approximately 18 months later. God, I can't speak. I can't read either. There, the elite team of engineers will begin a six-month construction project on the new phase gate, a multi-trillion credit investment in the absence of existing infrastructure in the region. The vessel is equipped with advanced thermal and nuclear power facilities. Altera Corp currently operates 9% of all phase gates in the galaxy. If the Aurora's mission is successful, Altera will have outmaneuvered a cabal of Mongolian corporations operating a range of outposts and mines in the region. Man, that was really hard to read because I couldn't actually see properly and it was kind of annoying. There's another PDA right here. Go ahead and do that. Notice this out. Okay, so here we are, finally in open space. We cross the galaxy to install a phase gate, to send ships to mine resources, to build more expensive ships, to install fancier phase gates. Are we trying to exhaust the galaxy or just ourselves? 1806, used birthdays, 40 weeks before we get home, 400 weeks, it feels like before we get home, not enough credits, Altera is paying me, 1454 cargo bay code. Okay, well that's oddly interesting enough. Um, first of all, how the hell am I going to get out of here? Alright, well this is going to hurt. Or not. Okay, cool. Okay, so th apparently that was my note. I think that's what that was anyway. Like, my note to self because obviously that was like the credit thing and remember how they mentioned that there wasn't enough credits to restore you know what I mean you know remember what I'm talking about okay but I do believe this is the code open damn lag boom Oh, oh my god, it's laggy. Oh. Ah, I lied. Stop. Yeah, you, you stop. Okay. Blood light. I think I need another one of these, right? No? Okay. Another nutrient block. Okay, that's good to have, though. I'm gonna need it. More water. I'll get that PDA in a second. Okay. Whoa, man, it's laggy. I don't like it. The Transgov Profile Altera Corp. One of the largest suppliers of space firing technologies and consumer electronics in the Federation. The official supplier of the TSF, consistently ranked amongst the galaxy's best employers, began life as a defense manufacturer in the mid-22nd century. National motto, get what you deserve. Although most Transgovs can trace their roots back to Earth, Altera literally meaning by Earth, is the only one brazen enough to take its name. During the expansion, Altera supplied arms to all sides including or acquiring and housing a vast colonist workforce and making the transition from manufacturer to corporate state. Altera's threat to cease trade was one of the turning points in the conflict, bringing out or bringing about the end of hostilities and the signing of the Carter or the Charter, my bad. 
Free enterprise within Altera space is encouraged, but competition is tight and all goods exported off-world must be Altera branded. Profitable businesses are brought out by st the state. Owners ascending to the board of directors, well-known Altera technologies like the Cyclops Submersible originated with such private enterprises. Despite superficial similarities to national governments, the corporation's lawyers have always maintained that it has no legal obligation to its employees. But voluntary effect or voluntary elects to take on the roles usually served by democratically elected government. This claim has not yet been tested in federation courts. So basically, Altera is run like a dictatorship, is what it sounds like. Which is cool. I like it how they have some personality. Uh, is there any more, like, freaking. I can't see a damn thing, and I don't like it. There we go. Is there any, um. Any more fire? Uh, extinguishers lying around somewhere. I mean, it would help. No. Okay. Well, that sucks. Right. We're gonna go down here now. We'll go ahead and cut this open. I saw one of those blood suckers. Those things are freaking intimidating, and they're just gross. They remind you, like they remind me of a leech. Damn, this shit's bright. You're not gonna lie. Hello. Give me my sea glide. Abandoned PDA. Sweet offer. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. Okay. I I have a problem right now with this. Hold on. I need to get to like a place. Yeah, like right here, baby. You're telling me you've been on this rig more than a year and you've never took a, ru a ride on the outside. Well, now you've only gone and gotten yourself a friend with the keys to a giant freaking robot suit. We've plain got nothing to do till we get Starside to work on the gate. You want to taste the stars, you've got only got to say my spare prawn suit's got your name in it. You don't know what power feels like until you've crushed an asteroid with your bare, heavily mechanically augmented hands. Want to play catch with a passing meteor? Come by cabin number one, code 1869. Interesting. So this guy was the maker of the prawn suit, it sounds like, which is cool. So this is to the prawn bay, which is where I want to go. Uh, is this a... No, I thought that was a, a fire extinguisher. Okay. Are you kidding me? I didn't bring my repair tool. I don't give a shit. I'm not going back to the grand base. I don't care if you guys call me a cheater. I don't care. There we go. Again, uh, I'm sorry, but I was not going to go all the way back to my base. It wasn't that deep. Oh. Okay, so this is a message from the future Lemon Raptor. Um, doing what I did right now kind of broke my save, and without realizing it, I technically unlocked literally every freaking blueprint in Subnautica, and trust me, that is not anything that I was trying to do. Unfortunately, it went to that, and I'm trying to reset that save a little bit back to a state where I still have to unlock everything but the prawn suit and the Neptune launch rocket, because first of all, you get that in the Aurora itself, so... Uh, I want to do that, but if not, it's not that deep. I'm sorry. It just means that we can progress in the game a lot quicker. But that, is, again, was not my intention by any means. Because now we get, like, if I went back to my base, we wouldn't be here. Give me that. Wait, what? That's not what I wanted. No. Nope. I hurt myself today. Now, for those of you guys who are confused right now, basically by saving the game, I literally just got karma. Still a piece of garbage. Because what I wanted to do is I wanted to quit the game without saving so I can go back to a state where I didn't have every blueprint unlocked. Obviously, I goofed. But that's not what I want. That's not at all what I wanted to do. I wanted to unlock the crap myself. Oh, because I forgot my damn repair tool. Huh? 
so annoyed right now, though, guys. Today's mini. Space Bear Boulette, since their introduction to the interstellar vacuum in the 21st century, microscopic tardigrades, or space bears, have adapted and flourished where no other life form has survived. Condensed into a smooth, nutty, protein-rich soup, they are the freshest local ingredient available to travelers on long-haul space flights. Cottage pie or nutrient block. Rehydrated minced beef in its own gravy served with a topping of mashed Chinese potato, picked fresh this morning from onboard grow beds and a side of sauteed Chinese potato plant leaves. For the time conscious consumer, the usual nutrient block options are available. They may be consumed cold and reconstituted on the on-site fabricator. Dried fruits and nuts. Unfortunately, a recent accident in Cargo Bay 3 involving the in-current application of a repulsion cannon in combination with a modified battery charger resulted in the venting into space of all dehydrated desserts. Fruit and nuts will be the only available dessert for the next 39 weeks. Imagine if that was your dessert. I would kill myself. I'm not going to lie. But I got my Keep Calm Kitty poster. I'm so happy. Cabin 7. Anything in here of use? Carry all. Another PDA. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Altera Alms Pamphlet. Charity is an archaic concept which the realism of today's Alterans has rendered obsolete. We understand that we are each responsible for ourselves, but the best way to get the most for ourselves is to work together with Altera. The implication of this reasoning is clear. If someone is in need, they must find a way to be needed. Altera Alms is a training academy for those that need to be needed. We're not a charity because we don't ask for handouts. We prefer to think of ourselves as a philanthropic benefits facilitation. Oh my god, that's a big word. Service promoting synergy between employer and workforce. AA operates on a lottery system by investing in any number of credits you will be entered into a prize draw. Larger investments yield higher chances of winning. Your credits will go towards training unskilled colonists in vital tasks such as maintenance and interpersonal skills. The colonists receive this training voluntarily and free of charge on condition of minimum contract with one of our investors on completion of their training. Okay, I don't know what any of that means, but okay, we'll go with it. Give me that. Oh, another PDA. Relationship contract legal recording. Integrating. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. Looks like we have some gay shit going right there. Interesting. Water. Water. Okay. So this is the... I, I know I have one of these for this. Okay. 1869. Open says me. Give me. Responsible autonomous relationships. Forward by Jenny Eckhart. All the good things in life are commodities. We trade love just as we buy and sell stock. We engage in human relationships when there is a fair exchange of value, support, motivation, affection. Nothing good is ever free. If we every physical good in the Federation came from a single supplier. It would constitute a dangerous monopoly. 
Personal relationships are the same. It is important for people to get what they need from multiple sources. If a person finds a better source of the goods they require, they are not wronging their original supplier by changing their personal arrangements. If one member of a relationship should feel threatened or jealous, they must look at their own business model and ask whether it is performing competitively. There's always room for improvement. So are those the gay couple? More water, I mean, I guess. Uh, med kit. Anything else in here? I mean, I've already unlocked everything on accident. Well, that was all very interesting, though, because one, the fact that uh, we had a gay couple in the story now. I didn't never knew about it. But okay. Okay. So where we're going now is a different story. But guys, like I said, I'm sorry again for cheating. That's not my intention for this series at all, um, but it happened, and I'm very frustrated as it is. Okay, I'm lagging. Okay, this is the area I'm talking about. Give me that efficiency mod. Warning, local radiation at maximum tolerable level. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Yeah. There's one here. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to focus on this. There's a lot of blood suckers in here. You know, honestly, if this place actually blew, it, you would. Uh, if this place actually blew up during the launch, you would think that none of this would still be here. Oh, I see it. I see it. See a blood sucker too. Get me the heck out of here. Drive core cool, breach sealed. Radiation levels decreasing. Oh crap. I thought they said radiation levels were decreasing. She said radiation levels were decreasing. What you mean, game? Why are you lying? Is there a PDA over here that I missed? No. Right. Okay, so that's basically everything I think I needed from here. At least for now. In the drive room, Seamoth Bay. Then this is the area I came from. Okay, we go up through here. There we are. Yeah, I just wasn't sure about that before. Okay, well that will do it for the Aurora Borobolics. Um, now, this is the hardest part. Regardless if I cheated or not, this is the hardest part of this whole freaking operation. Is to get out alive. Alright, so let's get the heck out of here. Let's go home. Let's go play with the Reaper. Let's go have a jolly old good time. Get out of here, no one likes you. Ha! <laughs> I killed that man. Alright, that's where I need to be. I hear him. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Aha! Uh -huh. But hold on. Yes, I heard the Reaper. I know he's around. Engine powering up. Rig for silent running. Oh, he's on the radar. But where? Ooh. Where yet, you douchebag? Where you at? Oh, hey, buddy. I see him. He's below me. Uh, 
He's on the radar. That guy is an asshole. He gonna get me dead. Alright, I think I'm good. As I say as I'm about to die. Ain't no reaper gonna kill me. I got the biggest dick. Alright, alright guys. Um... Now, while I make my cowardly escape back to the... Yeah, do you too. Now, while I make my cowardly escape back to the ground base, I'm going to go ahead and end this video off here. Uh, one, because I already did a lot this episode. The Aurora is one of the biggest things to do in the game. And now that I've actually gotten the blueprint, well, practically every blueprint, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I want to re... Oh, hey there, fella. How you doing? I'm gonna restore my save to a, f a file where there was no blueprints. Uh, the only one I'm gonna keep is the prawn. I mean, I guess I can keep the rocket one too, because the rocket does come from the Aurora itself, but. I don't know. Alright, well, I'm gonna make my cowardly escape back to the, the ground base, and I. What the hell did I just hit? Alright, I'm gonna need to get some power cells. Ah, home sweet home. I remember the first time I saw this area. You know, everybody that plays this game is afraid of this area. It's not that bad, honestly. Engine powering down. Alright. Well, now that I'm back home, I'm gonna go ahead and save. And I'm gonna go ahead and end this video off here. It is almost 2 o'clock in the morning now, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome episode of Subnautica. Even though I cheated, I'm sorry, again, I will go ahead and restore the save to a save where I don't have everything. Because I want to earn my crap. But yeah, so that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. My name is Subnautica, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye. I like good pussy and I like good trees Smoke so much weed you wouldn't believe And I get more ass than a toilet seat Three to the one, the one to the three I met a bad bitch last night in the deep Let me tell you how I'm gonna leave with me Conversation and see. I've been to the motherfucking mountaintop